What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be doing a reaction video to Asmund Gold's Their Viewers Aren't Real, Exposing View Botters Live. And I thought it would be a really interesting video to do a reaction to because, you know, I'm a brand new content creator and I'm trying to grow an audience myself and I'm pretty much doing everything on my own. So this is actually something that could potentially affect me. And I do stream on Twitch and I think that you know, why not give my own opinion on the subject? So let's go ahead and get right into it. We are going to be doing a bit of an audit. Oh. A bit of an investigation. Not an investigation. On who the good boys are and who the bad boys are. <laughs> He's always so animated. Now, we've downloaded an extension. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to show you how many people are actual authentic users for watching a stream. So you've got this guy right here. Obviously, 100% of the people that are watching wow. him are verified users. Man, 25,000 people watching this guy. That is insane to me. Sometimes when I look on my brand new channel, even just seeing the amount of people who've watched my crazy self for the amount of time that they've watched it, I'm still blown away. So 25K, I wouldn't even know. I don't even know how I would feel if that was at, you know, if I managed to have that at some point in time during this whole process. It, it would blow my mind, I could tell you that. Now, you're gonna see numbers that go above 100% sometimes. Okay. And the reason for that is just simply like this is 143%. Uh, the calculator is kind of wrong. So we're not exactly looking for people that are below 80%, okay? If you're below 80%, there could be a bunch of different reasons for that, right? You could have had somebody host you. You could have had uh, maybe like a different audience from another platform that's not verified. There are a lot of reasons that you could be under 80% or even under 60%, I'd say. It depends on who it is, though. Uh now... I want to stop it right here. That is pretty significant. 143%. I don't know how accurate this, this calculator, whatever this is doing is. It does seem a little bit suspect. I mean, 143%. How did it come to that calculation? I, I kind of, I would take everything in this video with a grain of salt. So, and I also want to point out, look at this right here. One girl, one bed. I, I love this. Like, 6.7k viewers 94 percent you gotta love twitch you gotta love it man one girl one girl one bed uh just to play off of two girls one cup i wouldn't recommend watching that video um but what we're really looking for are the under 40 percent and under 30 percent because that is such a massive deviation that it becomes i believe a problem okay so let's take a look and see who the good boys are here's two good boys right here NMP, LOL, and Zach Rar. Oh, there's another good boy, e <laughs> Of course himself. 89% verified users right here. I am at 93%. e of course, is at 91%. It's crazy. So there you go. Obviously, everybody here is, uh, you know, I have a, a real endemic actual audience. Now, if you haven't been following Asmongold, or which I highly doubt if you're on this video, because how would you manage to come to my channel if you've, you know, from this video? But um, he has been on a bit of a soapbox lately with regards to uh, embedding and view botting, especially uh, with the channel Fextra Life. So this is his kind of thing, which is, you know, uh, nice of him to do, obviously, because this isn't something that could affect him. But he's thinking about smaller streamers and how they can uh, potentially gain an audience, you know, and how some of these streams that are view botting or embedding are actually pushing down people uh, further toward the bottom off the main page and stopping them from gaining that organic audience that they've been trying to obtain for so long. Because obviously we all know content creation streaming is an incredibly competitive uh, field as it stands, right? Everybody wants to do it. Everybody wants to become one. So it's it's kind of a nice thing that he's doing here, shining a light on this. And if you scroll down, um, we do see one individual here. And so they <laughs> stick out like a sore thumb. And you see, let's go ahead and look through some numbers. Hey, who loves numbers? 103%, 81%, 83%, 126%. I just know how. That's 95%. How come to that? 85%. 99 percent 38.4 percent uh-oh uh-oh what's up with this what is let's up? take a look at it and of, and of course you get the the ad right away you got to get the ad from twitch right away 
So we've got a stream that has 2,400 viewers here. No, he <laughs> seems to be having a good time. Very slow chat. Very interesting. Very interesting here. And so yeah. we have 2,400 viewers. Do you really think that this stream <laughs> that looks like it came out of 2012 has 2,400 viewers? Now, I will say that this man is playing Dota 2. And if you play any kind of FPS or... Uh, competitive fps or or any kind of competitive moba style game there's a chance that you may have uh, a significant amount of viewership and your stream may look pretty bad um I'm, i mean actually there are some uh pro players who are notorious for not really caring too much about how their stream looks because they know that their skill is what people are there for so it is it is a there is a chance that this guy depending on his mmr his skill level overall could be sitting at 2,500 viewers. Some people sit even higher than that. Uh, but I also wanted to say that, what was he at, 39 point something percent? So regardless if he's not really at 2,500, this man is sitting on over probably over 1,000 viewers at a time. So, I mean, I don't even know why he would view bot, to be honest. That's pretty substantial. I mean, that can that's, that's life-changing for some people. So, but... Just be aware, like, these style of games do generate a big audience if you are a skillful player, so. I think it doesn't. Aside from having a poor quality looking I think, stream. Guys, I think they're embedding or viewbotting. That's what I think. Let's yeah, go to the next the, one. There's the potential of that, absolutely. Uh -oh. <laughs> you gotta love that he stops right there. But I also do want to say here that, you know, he's got to be a little careful here because a guy with his audience, with the platform that he does have, and I'm not going to say this is his fault by any means necessary, but he's got to be a little careful here because just him doing that, this type of video to like, say a streamer like him could affect his entire, you know, quality of life and his ability to make an income off of streaming. So whatever that means to you, you know, I, I personally, it is what it is, but, you know, just be aware if you have a platform this size, you should probably have a more accurate interpretation of what is or isn't being view botted or embedded. This stream's about to have 120% viewers, but anyway, uh, let's see here. What are the rest of them? All right. Seems like everybody here is pretty authentic. Look at the accuracy. Uh, he scrolls right back up. You know he wanted to check hard that out. Hard to say out. what's going on there. 51% is pretty low. Same with this one. Twice. Very hard to say. It's also not an English-speaking stream. It's not as egregious as the other one. So we're going to go ahead and skip that one. Let's look at the uh, Counter-Strike category. Counter-Strike. As you can see here, Counter-Strike engages in promoting gambling to children. That's pretty terrible. Facilitating people ruining their lives. Selling items that are worth nothing for thousands of dollars. Yeah, well, that's all subjective, right? But not even they will stoop so low than to embed. Yeah, I can never understand why people spend so much money on cosmetics and things like that. But to each their own, right? You enjoy games. Whatever makes you happy, makes you happy. But yeah, definitely should not be... Uh, advertising this stuff to children. It reminds me of when I was a kid and they sold candy cigarettes in the store. Probably should have never done that. That was probably one of the worst things you could have ever sold children. Candied cigarettes. They there were actually pretty person, good. However. Jason R. Jason R. 32% viewers. And again, 32% of 2.3K, that's still a quite the amount of viewers in his stream. And if this thing is off by even a fraction, you know, a fraction of of that amount, like at 5, 10, 20%, this guy has a significant following. And uh, I mean, it's, I would be incredibly happy with something like that. I would never desire to view bot because I, I like conversation and you're not going to get much out of a view bot. More like Jason L. <laughs> Jason L. 3%? No, it's 32. It says, th it says 32.6. Look at that man down there. Yeah, it says 
percent. Oh god. Oh whoa. <laughs> whoa. Wow. And so this stream. Oh my god. Like so you're telling me this stream wow, we, we, wow. has it's been live for 28 hours. It has a thousand wow. viewers. This dude is popping off. Look at that peak viewers. He's gone up by 98% in the last That's 30 crazy. days. This dude is fucking huge. He's gonna be the next ninja. Oh my god. And so look at this. Every time an advertisement. percent gentlemen. 3.9%. And that's still nothing to scoff Jesus. at. I mean, 3.9% of 1,200 viewers. Let me tell you something, guys. I'd probably throw a champagne party over here. I mean, that would be crazy for me in a single day to have that many people. That means I'm actually talking to people. And that is quite a nice change. That is pretty bad, guys. That is really low. Oh my god. He said hi, Asmon chat. <laughs> and of course I would say hi to his chat. Of course his his stream no his so stream chat automatically goes to their stream. Fun. This is why I said Still you gotta be careful one. because some of his viewers are okay. interesting people. Um And that goes with we'll every Cyberpunk streamer. Maybe. Not just him. I mean I don't think Cyberpunk is really that big of a deal. That's whatever. But we'll uh we'll go ahead and just look at a couple of them. So we see, obviously, big friend of the stream. I've known her for many years. Annie Fuchsia, 96.8% real viewers. <laughs> but we go a little bit lower here. 22. 22. And viewers. that's still a lot for... I'd take it. Uh -oh. Did that say charity? Hold on. Hold on. Look at all these tags charity now i mean that's a little i i don't know if that's true doesn't say anything that's kind of that's kind of silly you have charity in one of your uh one of your tags that's not okay i mean that's not okay <laughs> she looks like she just dropped the kids off at Nothing school going and came home and sat down in a yeti's hand but i feel it though you know married myself with some kids uh-oh Chat's literally dead. Well, it's not dead. <laughs> no, he just because I have these little losers out. that watch me in my stream. Look at you. You've been in two streams. I've literally watched you. Can you stop going into other people's streams? I like how the dude's trying to get him to unban it's him. It's just cringe. That's hilarious. You're just fucking cringe. I'm not going to no, unban you. Funny. I'm going to ban you again. I would unban him just off of that. My boys stop tried it. his hardest. The reason why I want you guys to stop Consistency is because matters. it fucks okay. up the experiment. Whenever I have a bunch of people go into the person's stream, then I can't get an accurate read on. Listen, it's already a pretty jacked up experiment, okay? But I respect it. You just gotta, you know, you gotta be a little careful here. You gotta be a little careful. How fast their, how fast their chat is moving. Do you see what I'm saying? So you fuck it up. Stop it. <laughs> You're ruining it. Good luck. You tell them not to, they're gonna do it twice as much. Let's go ahead and let's look at the other ones. Makes for good now, content, right? Let's look at Lies of P, for example. Let's take a look at that. Obviously, Liza P. Oh, right here. 24%. 24. There are also certain instances but where of people can get, I don't know views. if front page viewership on Twitch can get it. I don't know. I think anybody you could look at could have front page, but I'm not sure. This is a low enough view count that that probably could be the case. We're looking at mainly people with multiple thousands of viewers. Once you get down to the hundreds, sometimes it's harder to uh, discern. I mean, that's a problem to be... Most of the people that he's kind of hovered over and looked at have not had thousands. They've had like 1,000 viewers. So if that's the case about this whole, uh, I guess, uh, app or software, whatever, is, whatever he's using to kind of, uh, to kind of generate these percentages, I feel like that's really inaccurate. And you should probably, again, be careful because, again, a person with a stream his size a platform his size could completely obliterate another person's channel i mean it really could happen check the genshin category okay 7.7 7 percent 7.7 7 7 percent. <laughs> percent that's a lot of bots and another ad wow got to get that money right let's pull there. up this person's twitch tracker hmm. wow Hmm. I mean, 
42 viewers all the way up to 1.7K. This is. I mean, these numbers would be great for a person like me. I mean, I. I would be happy with any of these amount of viewers, uh, 102, 50, 43, 64, 64, 77, 63. That would be a great day for me. But uh, obviously 1.7K is a bit suspicious there. This is the come up of the century. Finally, we made it. Not at all suspicious. <laughs> is it a raid or not? Let's take a look at it. So she went from uh, 15 viewers to 1.1k wow. viewers in 10 minutes. It's pretty impressive. I think I know why. It's a raid? It's not a raid. And I can prove that it's not a raid. Because every single stream that gets a raid, it goes down afterwards. Raids usually go up like this. It's like this is the stream, then the raid, and then it'll go back down, and then it'll go back up. It never went down. It wasn't a raid. It just went up. That's just not the way the numbers look. That's a cheating Andy. 24 hour. This is only a 200 viewer stream. It's very hard to say what this is going to be. Uh, but 17%. Uh, now, gentlemen. That's pretty, that's pretty I crazy. I hope you know that I've saved the best for last. Not and we will best. look at a few other categories. But I think that it's now time to look at the true offenders. The true offenders. In the new world section. We have <laughs> BDLG. 12% with percent. 12 percent and viewers. that's still alive 4.2k 12 percent wow. man 12 percent. wow i feel so like i made it this, at you've that got point baggins 99.7 percent and you know what's so funny about this is that i had a conversation with baggins about view botting and embedding and he basically said fake it till you make it and god damn he fucking made it that's true he's got 7.8k viewers at 99 percent BDLG, still on the come up. There we go. The system works, yep. Very big difference. Very, very big difference here. So, this is probably where I'll end it. I'm not going to watch the whole video because, you know, Asmund Gold is notorious for taking, like, a topic and stretching it into, like, what this video is, 34 minutes long. And uh, I definitely don't think anybody's going to have the patience to sit there for me for 34 minutes as I currently am a very minuscule uh, content creator. But uh, that's a beautiful ending there. So Baggins TV, 7.8K viewers, 99.7%, right? Had a conversation with the guy. The guy says, fake it till you make it, right? Or the old saying, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. And uh, so how can you really blame people? How can you? Now, I personally, I do not desire to build an audience off of view botting. I want to do something organic. I want to have a real audience of people. But th these people do have an audience. I mean, look, 12%, even if that's accurate, 12% of 4.2K is still a significant amount of viewers. That's hundreds of viewers that this person is getting. And say what happened, what's going to happen when Baggins TV jumps off of his stream, right? He stops streaming. Well, guess what? BDLG might get a substantial portion of his viewership to come to his stream. And maybe he doesn't get every single one of those who come to his stream to stay there, but maybe he gets 10, 20, 30 followers. Maybe he gets a few subscriptions. That is a significant, significant difference than to where he, you know, powered his stream up and started that day. So, you know, it's hard to say that this is, I just don't think this is something that's going to stop. I think it's probably even just making this video in, in the, that he is making and showing this difference. I, I think it might even, you know, exacerbate the problem just because people are going to see that this stuff actually works and they're going to go and do it themselves. And then I maybe they you know maybe at some point in time this issue will become such a problem for Twitch that they might actually address it in some uh, some way shape or form 
to allow people to be able to stream and build an audience organically. But as it stands, man, I cannot blame anyone, especially if you really desire to do this for a living. And maybe you don't, maybe you're not the happiest person in your personal life with what you do for a living. I can't blame anyone for actually trying to do this because, uh, you know, there's really no downside and the upside is, I mean, the upside is massive. I mean, some of the money these people make just from sponsorships and, it can change your life. You're talking about six figures for a relatively, you know, medium sized audience. So, and that's a big deal to a lot of people, especially in today's economy. So anyway, that's it for the video guys. I think that overall, I agree with Asmund Gold. You, you know, it clearly is a problem. However, I can't blame people for doing it. You gotta, you know, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying to fake it till you make it, whatever, you know, old saying you want to pull out of the hat. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Let me know how much of a problem you feel this is. And uh, also, some constructive criticism. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like, share, subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace out. I will see you in the next one.